Hi, I'm Poppy and this is my autumn inspired look. So I've just done my base and for that I used NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Deville and NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Then I finished my eyebrows and I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz with some HD Brow Powder over the top of that. So I'm going to start off as the base with a really gorgeous orangey brown rusty shade. This is from the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna take a flat, fluffy brush and I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. It's also completely optional and up to you how far up you wanna take the eyeshadow. I have quite a big gap between my eye and my brow, so I tend to take it up about halfway. When I think of autumn makeup, I think of rusty colors, burnt oranges, reds, so that is the inspiration behind the eyeshadow. So with that same eyeshadow colour that I just put on my eyelid, I'm going to take a smaller flatter brush and I'm just going to pop some of that underneath my eye. So once you've got as much eyeshadow or as little eyeshadow as you want, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend all of this out. Using a fluffy brush like this really gives a professional finish makes all the edges look clean and polished. So after you've applied your eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take some liquid liner and I'm just gonna do a really small cat flick just to give a bit more definition and add a bit more drama to the look. Eyeliner is one of those things that everyone always panics about and says it's too hard and too complicated to do, but I always say practice makes perfect. Start off with something a bit thinner and a bit less dramatic and then slowly build it up one of these pens makes it incredibly easy to do, so just take your time. So after you've got your flicks on, I'm then just going to apply some mascara. I find the best way to apply mascara without getting all blobs and bits on your eyelid is to hold the comb as close to the root as possible and then blink down slowly. And that way the wand coats every lash from root to tip. On those days that you're particularly tired and you feel like you've got bags under your eyes and your eyes look all droopy, this is your magic weapon. This is just a beigey, creamy coloured eyeliner and I just put it in my waterline and it really brightens up the eyes and makes them look a lot more awake. So once the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to cheeks. And day to day, I don't always go for the full contour highlight. I just tend to go for a subtle blush. So I'm going to be wearing Blush Baby by MAC. And I'm just taking some on a brush and smiling. And then just popping it on the apples of my cheeks. I find that putting it on the apples of my cheeks gives you a lot more youthful, kind of fresh, glowy look. Now, if you find that you've put on too much blusher, don't panic. You can just take your foundation brush or your powder brush and just lightly dab away at where you've applied too much and it will really calm down the colour and make it look a lot more subtle without you having to take all your foundation off and start again. So next I'm going to highlight my cheeks and this is going to give me a more glowy look. So I'm just taking this highlight brush and Max Soft and Gentle Mineralised Skin Finish. I'm just going to pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. If you feel with your finger, you can kind of feel the bone here and that is exactly where it needs to go. This will look especially gorgeous when you're outside and the natural light kind of comes down on your face and hits on the top of your cheekbone and it really shimmers and looks really beautiful. For an extra glowy look, you can take a smaller brush, the same highlight you just used on your cheekbones, and just pop it underneath your brow bone. This is another place that kind of hits the light. You can also take a bit on your finger and just pop it on your cupid's bow. That gives the illusion of fuller lips. 
To line my lips, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Bad Romance Lip Liner. And for that classic autumnal look that everybody is raving about recently, I'm going to be doing a berry, purpley, pinky, ready lip. Kind of covers all bases here. So once you've lined your lips and you're looking particularly sexy, it's time to apply your lipstick. Don't worry about having to fill in all, all your lips. It won't make a difference because this is a very similar colour, so it's all good. I'm using Glastonbury by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to apply this in the inside where there's no lip liner. So when applying dark lipstick, it's really easy to make a mistake. These are the best things I've ever bought. So if you happen to go over the edges or you smudge it, just take this and just run it along the line and it will make it really crisp and neat. So when you've applied your lipstick, if you want it to stay and last all day without having to touch it up, a really good tip is to just take your finger, which is, should be clean, and just kind of blot it in. You can either use a tissue or your finger. Just tap it in and it kind of creates a stain. So once you've tapped it all in, you can then apply another layer and your makeup will last all day. So this is my autumnal makeup look complete. Mm -hmm.